Hi everybody, welcome back. We are beginning today in tadpole pose. So if you have a blanket, grab it, or something that you can use as cushion for under the knees. I'll see you back in about five seconds. As I said, we're beginning in tadpole pose today. It's very similar to child's pose, but it's a deeper hip opener as well as a low back release. The blanket comes in handy when the knees go wider than your mat. So if you're like me practicing on a hard surface, right, the, the blanket's gonna give you, uh, give you a nice buffer. And of course, if uh, if you're not working with a blanket, you're certainly welcome to, to do that. Um, or you can just take child's pose by dialing it in, bringing your knees in, okay? Modify anything that makes sense for you today. Honor where you are. So your tadpole pose, the knees are wide. The toes come together. Your hips line up just about where your knees are. I'm gonna move my blocks out front. Walk your hands out. Let yourself lower down as easily, as softly as you can without letting your hips come too far forward or too far back. Just kind of keep them right in the center. If you haven't done this type of yoga stretch with me before, You'll understand now why the blanket comes in handy. As you continue softening with the breath, you'll feel the hips open a little bit more. Tadpole pose is a yin yoga stretch, which is a wonderful stretch to do, actually, before the body gets warmed up. So. This is in line with where we should be right now. And focusing on the breath. Maybe engage your ujjayi breath as we begin so, so we can warm up the body a little bit. Letting the mind clear. Let's give ourselves another two or three deep breaths. Releasing out nice and easy, bring the hands in. Lift your forehead off the mat and slide the knees in nice and easy. Just kind of inch them back to center. Back, back, back. Have a seat back on your heels if that feels okay to do. Walk your hands back and slightly scooping the tailbone, start to feel the tops of your legs wake up. Drop the shoulders back, keep the heart center open. And Maybe lift a little bit off your heels. Take another deep breath or so. And settling back down, come up. 
I'm gonna remove the blanket, but I'm gonna keep my blanket close by just in case. Bring your feet around front, bending up at your knees. Separate your feet a little bit, drop the hands behind you, and drop your knees off to the right side. Sit tall as you look to the left. And bringing the knees to center, drop your knees now to your left. Sit tall as you peek to the right. And coming back to center, again, drop your knees to the right. This time, sweep your left arm around, reaching all the way. Let your gaze reach past the left fingertips. Bring it back, knees center. Go the other way, sweep your right arm around. Bringing it all the way back, go the other way. Left arm sweeps around. Come back, go to your left. Coming back, go to the right. We'll do one more time on the left side. Bringing it back, coming to center, and come up onto your knees again. Or rather, onto your, uh, on your knees, but sitting on your heels. We're gonna do a little toe stretch. So tuck your toes, walk your hands back, ease into the stretch, sitting on your heels. Of course, if this is not in the cards for you today, then just take a cross-legged seat and walk your hands forward for a nice hip opening stretch. Gaze softly past the nose. Let's take another deep breath or two. Coming forward onto your hands and knees, Shuffle out your feet. And soften the fingertips as you drag them in toward the knees. Roll up slowly. Soften the shoulders, turn the palms out. Inhale, sweep the arms over. Dropping the left arm forward, right arm back. Come back to center, arms up, go the other way, right arm forward, left arm back. Come back to center, bring the palms together, soften toward the heels, arms back, child's pose, the forehead down. We're gonna make this a little flow. So press down as you come up, sweeping the arms straight over. Drop the left arm forward, right arm back. Up to center, go to the left. Come back to center, palms together, hips to heels, arms back, head down. Sweeping it up, lift off the heels, arms high. Exhale, open to the right. Inhale to center. Exhaling, open to your left. Inhale up, exhale, child's pose. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We're gonna do that at least one or two more times. And right. Come up. Open left. Child's pose. One more full set. Get back to your child's pose. Let's hold here for one extra breath.
come up to your hands and knees. This time we'll go back to down dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. And of course, in your first down dog, walk out the feet. Stretch the legs and see how everything's doing today. Just be, be aware of any labels or judgments that we tend to pass on ourselves here. So just, just observe. We want to be in touch with the body without analyzing, without judging. And with a big inhale, lift the heels up. With a big exhale, sink the heels down. Take it forward to plank on the inhale. With little readjusting, return to down dog, exhale. Soft bend in the knees, look forward. Walk or hop your feet to the front of the mat. As you fold over the legs, feel free, uh, separate the feet a little bit, but feel free if you wanna grab blocks here into the hands in placing them in front of your feet. We're bending up at the right knee, straightening out the left leg a bit. Keep the head up, the chest up. The right hand stays down. Lift the left arm as you open to your left side. Reach high, maybe look up or not. That's okay if the neck doesn't feel ready to join. You can just look to the left. Take one more deep breath in. Exhaling, lower the left hand, soften both knees. Start to straighten the right leg. Keep a soft bend in the left knee. Chest up, head up. Now your right arm lifts, opening to your right side. Again, maybe peek up, maybe not. Take one more deep breath in. Exhaling, lower the right hand. Soften through both knees. Roll up slowly to stand. As you press through the legs, roll up, chest up. Soften the shoulders back, standing nice and tall in Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms around. Exhaling, dive over the legs. Lift the chest, inhale. Take it to plank as you exhale. Face the right side of the room, coming into Vashistasana, side plank. Yeah. So the right leg is on top. Feel free, if you're modifying, to lower the bottom knee. Maybe sweep the left foot back a little bit more. Come up onto your left fingertips and open up toward the sky. One more breath. Just a slightly deeper, uh, slightly different stretch here. Maybe deeper. <laughs> One more deep breath in. Exhale, let's all meet in center plank. We'll go the other way. Face your left side, the left leg on top. Again, any variation, welcome. But if you want to do what I'm doing, the option is, remember, just an option, the right knee down. Your right foot sweeps back behind you. Come onto your right fingertips. As the left arm sweeps over, we're just opening up through the front side of the body, through the left side of the body. One more deep breath in. Exhaling, return to center plank. Let's lower all the way down onto the mat. Untuck the toes, slide the fingertips back, and press into cobra pose. Option if you wanna go up dog or even high cobra, slide the fingertips back a little bit more and then lift as you straighten the arms. I'm keeping the knees down here. This is more of a high cobra pose, but you can lift the knees off the mat if you prefer your up dog. Soften the shoulders back. Okay, softly past the nose. Let's give it one more deep breath in. Return to down dog as you press back. Feel free to take child's pose if you prefer. We'll be here for another two or three deep breaths. From your downward facing dog, we'll soften the knees, look forward, step or hop your feet to the front. Lift the chest, inhale, 
Exhale, fold over the legs. Stepping your feet together, toes, heels side by side. Utkatasana, sit deep, lift the arms. Palms to prayer at the heart, keep the hips sinking down. Let's take a twist, go to the right, hook the left elbow, look over the right shoulder, one breath. And coming back to center, fold over the legs, relax the head down. Send the left leg back low, lunge, soften the back knee, look forward for balance, setting up our high lunge, press down, look forward, arms high. Maybe soften the back knee if you choose. That's gonna be a very individual thing, right? Depending on how the knees, the hips, and the low back feel today. So maybe yes, maybe no. Interlace fingers overhead, press the palms high. Drop the shoulders, one more breath. Good, flip the hands around, prayer to the heart. Shoulders back, lean in, warrior three, float the back leg up for a breath. We'll step into warrior two, left foot back, heel down, sweep the arms out and around. One breath. Reversing the warrior with the right arm high. Skandasana, hands down, inside the right foot, travel to the left, stretch the right leg, one breath. We'll walk it around to a low lunge at the front. When you get there, lower the back knee, Ardha Hanuman, half split, straighten the front leg, one breath. Take your left hand outside the right leg, one breath. Returning the left hand to the left side, bend the front knee, down dog, press back. Feel free to hold in your down dog or if you wanna flow through your plank chaturanga, go for, go for it. Or any flow if you're modifying, of course. We'll meet in downward facing dog, enjoying another deep breath. And soften the knees, look forward, walk or hop your feet to the front. Chest high, inhale. Exhale, head down. Returning feet together. Utkatasana, sit deep, arms up. Palms to prayer, twist to the left. Look the elbow, look over the shoulder, one breath. Inhale, center. Fold as you exhale, stepping the right foot back, low lunge. Soften the back knee, look forward. Press through the legs, lift up, high lunge. Again, maybe soften the back knee, maybe not. Changing the grip as you interlace fingers, opposite pinky finger on top, press the palms. Drop the shoulders, one breath. And flip the hands around, prayer at the heart. Lean in, warrior three, right leg up, one breath. Warrior two, step back, heel down, arms windmill out, one breath. We'll reverse the warrior, inhale, left arm up. Skandasana, hands to the inside of the front foot. Travel to the right, back of the mat. One breath. We'll walk it around for low lunge, front of the mat. When you get there, right knee down, half split. One breath, blocks under the hands if you like. Take your right hand outside the left leg. One more breath. Returning the right hand over, bend the left knee, down dog. You can hold your down dog or flow through. One more breath. We're gonna do the same sequence, just slightly faster. From your down dog, look forward, step or float the feet. Chest high, inhale. Exhale, head down. Feet together, chair pose. Palms to prayer. Twist to the right. Hold as you exhale. Bring it to center. Fold over the legs. Left foot back, look forward. 
Press down, lift for high lunge. Interlace fingers, press the palms high. Flip the hands around, prayer to the heart, lean in, warrior three. Warrior two, step back, come up. Reverse the warrior, right arm high. Skandasana, hands down, travel to the left. Low lunge, take it around to the front. Lower the left knee, Ardha Hanuman, half split. Take your left hand outside the right leg. Returning the right, uh, left hand back to the left side. Bend the right knee, down dog. Feel free to hold, feel free to flow. Just make sure the breath stays nice and steady. We'll be here for one more breath. From your downward facing, look forward, walk or hop your feet. Chest high, inhale. Exhale, head down, feet together, Utkatasana. Palms to prayer. Take your twist to the left. Hold as you exhale. Inhale, center. Exhaling, head down as you fold, right foot back. Soften the knee, look forward, press through the legs, bring it up. Changing the grip, interlace fingers, press the palms high. And flip the hands around, prayer to the heart, lean in, warrior three. Right leg up for a breath. Warrior two, step back, heel down, arms out. Reverse, left arm high. Skandasana, hands down. Travel to your right. We'll take it to low lunge at the front, walk it around. Lower the back knee, Ardha Hanuman, straighten the left leg. Taking the right hand outside the left leg for a breath. Returning the right hand to the right side, bend the left knee, down dog, press back. Hold or flow. Take a brief child's pose, lower the knees, toes together, maybe observing any changes in the way the hips feel or the back feels from when you started in your tadpole pose. Do things feel any different? Again, without placing labels like good or bad or any judgments, just how do things feel? Is the breath moving a little bit easier? One more breath. Take it back to hands and knees, back to down dog. From your down dog, we'll lift the right leg, bend the knee, open the hip, head down. Level out your hips, low lunge, bring your foot through the hands, and walk your fingertips in front of the right foot. Feel free to, if you wanna put your hands on blocks, you can. Standing split, float the back leg up, forehead to the front, shin, one breath. And with both hands on the mat, tap the left knee behind the right, curl in. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, pigeon pose. Step the left foot back and bring the right knee forward. Left leg back, sit tall. Modifying on the back if that makes sense for your joints today. Reverse figure four. Sit tall, level the hips using any props if you want to slide a blanket under the right hip to keep the hips level. If you're otherwise good to go, the left toes pointing back nicely. Walk the hands out, lower the forehead.
let's take another deep breath or two. And walking the hands in, uncurling away from the mat, roll to the right hip and sweep your left leg around, coming into a cross-legged seat, Sukhasana, the left ankle lined up in front of the right. I'm gonna do this facing you. So the left ankle lines up in front of the right, and you can either keep it here, right? Lean in or walk the hands out, or if everything feels okay, double ankle to knee fire lock, you're gonna take the left shin on top of the right. Right, keeping a straight line from the ankle to the knee. You can bring the foot wide of the right knee, but not short, okay? Sit tall, you can hold it here, you can lean in, or even walk your hands out. Let's take another deep breath or two right here. I don't know about you, but that feels really yummy on my hips. <laughs> this is also a yin yoga stretch that you can do when the body is cold. Walk the hands in, let's release out nice and easy. Unwrap your legs and then come onto your hands and knees. Down dog, press back, shake it off, stretch it out. And of course, feel free if you wanna flow through, you can plank chaturanga. Switching up the sides, we'll lift the left leg, bend and you open the hip back down. Level the hips, low lunge, step through. Walk your fingertips in front of the left foot. Feel free to put blocks under the hands as you see fit. Standing split, right leg high. Forehead to the front shin. One breath. And adding a Shiva squat, take an inhale, right leg half an inch higher. Exhaling, tap the right knee behind the left, curl in. Inhaling the right leg up, pigeon pose, step back. Bring the left knee through, right leg back. Sit tall, level the hips, open the heart. Modifying on the back, of course, as you need if you need. If you're otherwise good to go, walk the hands out, lower the forehead. Keep the hips level, no sliding to the right or to the left. Use props if you need to help keep you centered. Taking another deep breath or two. Walking the hands back, lift the head, the chest up. Roll to your outer left leg, sweep the right leg around, coming into your cross-legged seat, Sukhasana, right ankle in front of the left, and either keeping it here, leaning in, walking the hands out, or double ankle to knee. Again, I'm gonna do this facing you, so slide the right ankle in front. So we're just doing the opposite opposite side. If you're doing the fire log pose, pose, double ankle to knee, bring your right shin on top of the left. Ankle on knee, knee on ankle, shin on shin. Sit tall, maybe that's deep enough, or lean in, or walk the hands out. Keeping your sit bones on the mat. Let's take another deep breath or so. Walking the hands back in, returning upright. Let's bring the soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana. And hands to your feet, sitting tall. If that's deep enough, stay here. If there's room to do so, you can lean in a little bit. Soften the shoulders back and take another deep breath or so.
We'll return upright if you're not already there. Fold the knees in, drop the hands back, and windshield wiper the knees a little side to side. As we continue winding things down today, we will of course return to center. Feel free to take your inversion if you're shoulder standing today, Sarvangasana, lay back, legs up. I'm gonna do the modified shoulder stand today using a block. Feel free to headstand, Shirshasana, come onto hands and knees. Modify as you see fit, of course, take your time. Stay focused, keeping your mind clear, stay present. Let's give it another deep breath or two, wherever you are. And start to lower down. Mindfully, we release out as mindfully as we come up taking your counter stretch. Since I use the prop to do the inversion, I'm gonna use the prop to counter stretch in my fish pose. The block goes right between the shoulder blades. You can use a rolled up blanket or a bolster in this spot to do this. And let the head drop back. If you're in headstand, you're doing child's pose. Let's give ourselves another two or three deep breaths. out nice and easy as you return onto your back. Now, if you're like me on a, on a prop, you're gonna roll to your side, remove the prop, roll onto your back, hug the knees in, feel free to rock, feel free to happy baby, anything that feels good for you today. And if you're otherwise ready to do so, Lay back in your Shavasana, extending out your legs. Feel free if you wanna roll up a blanket or slide a bolster behind your knees when you lay back. It helps to release the low back a little, uh, a little more. That might feel really nice for you today. If not, that's okay. <laughs> feel free to grab a blanket or a sweater to avoid getting chilly in your Shavasana. And separate the feet, drop the arms out, turn the palms up, close your eyes. Letting go of the breath, softening into space, uncreasing the brow, unclenching the jaw. Let go of the ujjayi breath and just settle back, closing the eyes if they're not already. Embracing these few moments of stillness. Always feel free to take more time if you have it, so you feel better stepping off the mat than when you first stepped on.